Hello everybody and welcome back to another one of Mudflaps Movie Reviews. Today I will be reviewing the Ice Age spin-off movie, The Adventures of Buck Wild. Let's get started. The Adventures of Buck Wild is directed by John C. Donklin and it stars Simon Pegg, Aaron Harris, Vincent Tong, Justina Machado, and Uktarsh Ambakar. So we start the movie off with Ellie giving a narration of the herd and how it came to be, starting with Ice Age where Manny was all by himself and then he met Diego and Sid and then uh, in Meltdown where Manny met Ellie and Crash and Eddie and she goes through the entire um, Ice Age franchise is how the herd started to grow and how they face adventure and excitement and, and just all the journey that they've had so far um, up to this point. This movie focused a lot on Crash and Eddie and then it also focused on Buck Wild as well, but it really started off where the main focus was Crash and Eddie trying to prove something to their sister and the rest of the herd that they are not just, you know, crazy wild possums, that they have some responsibility, they're independent and they can look out for themselves and they don't need anybody else. So they're, they're constantly trying to prove themselves and um, every time they try to prove it, something happens and it just makes it more of a joke that they clearly can't take care of themselves. They ran away during the night and they're off on their own and they broke through the ice and ended up back in the lost world again where they ran into Buck and um, you know Buck was trying to protect them and and you know deal with his own stuff in the lost world. He's trying to get them home because he can see that Crash and Eddie just don't have what it takes yet to really take care of themselves. And of course, Crash and Eddie fall into the drama that's going on in the Lost World, where Buck is dealing with uh, the fallout between someone he was trying to help out, Orson, a Triceratops who was once a friend of Buck's, and they got along well, and there was a whole bunch of different dinosaurs and mammals that got along, but then Orson decided that he wanted to rule everything in the Lost World and turned on Buck and all of his friends. And uh, it caused a lot of drama, a lot of just it changed the lost world and so Buck's adventure really is just trying to maintain harmony and peace and Orson just doesn't want anything to do with that so a lot of that also has to do with how Buck handled the fallout between him and Orson but also the fallout between him and his friend Z she's a Zarilla the running joke was that she was a skunk in disguise um yeah I'm not exactly sure what a Zarilla is it's it's some kind of it's in the monkey family, I think. There was that too where Buck had to deal with that and you know, really examine who he was and, and why he why he's so reckless and endangers people all the time. He always runs in there, you know, with his classic line, it's time to get Buck Wild. He never really has a plan, he just hopes everything, you know, comes together. And Z's the complete opposite. She always has to have a plan when she goes in to do something. So there's a lot of a lot of that pull of I need a plan. No, I don't need a plan. So Z and Buck were figuring stuff out. Crash and Eddie just couldn't seem to prove to Buck that they could get it done. So of course, you know, Buck's still trying to get him out. He can't and eventually Crash and Eddie join Buck and Z and a familiar face from Ice Age Dawn of the Dinosaurs um, that I was really excited to see come back to the screen. It's a lot of soul searching that goes on in the movie. Just a lot of trying to prove your worth to others and family and and a lot of and just showing that you have what it takes to be independent and take on you know the dangers without anybody else's help it's a family friendly movie definitely recommend it that you would uh if you have any kids uh, or if you're just an ice age fan like me um i think you'll like it i think your kids are gonna like it more than you maybe um i mean i grew up with the ice age movies so it always has a special place in my heart uh, pros are it was solid plot line just had some nostalgia thrown in there and then um, just good life lessons thrown in there too um, that everyone can benefit from. A couple of cons in the movie. One, the only original actor they brought back was Simon Pegg uh, who voiced Buck, but everyone else they recast the entire Ice Age herd. Um, so everybody was different actors and I don't know if I, I didn't really like it. I preferred to hear, you know, you know, all the guys that we grew up with hearing. It kind of threw me a little bit. I didn't really like that they did the whole recasting thing, but, you know, what am I going to do? I, I still enjoyed it to the best of my ability. And then the second con was there was something off about the animation. I could tell it was kind of slow and not as clean and smooth as it has been in the past, but I think that was because they 
one with a different animation team maybe because I don't think Blue Sky had to, anything to do with it this time because there was there's been a lot of drama off screen with Blue Sky and rights and all this other stuff so I think it had to do with the animation style it just didn't look as good as all the other past movies it it honestly looked cheap like they didn't put a lot of effort and a lot of money into making the animation and, and the computerized images the best that they could. I, I kind of ignored it, but there were times like, oh, that, was, that wasn't that was the best animation. You know, kind of slow, kind of, yeah, definitely low budget stuff when it came to animation. But that's just my personal preference. I wouldn't get hung up on it. For this movie, I'll give it a six out of 10 mud flaps. Um, it was average. I think Ice Age should have stopped at number three with Dawn of the Dinosaurs. Continental Drift and Collision Course just seemed to really jump the shark. Um, they just seemed to run out of good material and just wanted to keep the franchise going even though it was falling apart. And I've seen some negative reviews out there of Ice Age um, Adventures of Buck Wild. Just some of the complaints were the voice actors and animation and just, and just didn't seem to be super strong storyline and you know Disney should just move on and leave Ice Age alone and wrap it up. But that's just what people out there thought. I thought it was good. I thought it was okay. Not great. I enjoyed it though, so I would recommend that you guys check it out on Disney Plus. If you haven't subscribed to Disney Plus yet, I would highly recommend it. Uh, you got a whole bunch of stuff for a great price. You got Marvel, Star Wars, Disney, Pixar, and National Geographic, and it's just chock full of just stuff from our childhood all the way up to, you know, originals to you know everything under the sun, man. Like it's it's a great streaming service for a great price. And uh, before you leave, uh, what's your favorite Ice Age movie? And um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and I'll see you next time.